Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark Walters with BigFanboy.com and I'm here with a review of Kevin Smith's Clerks 3, which should be now be playing in pretty much almost anywhere that's hosting the Fathom Events screenings. Be, uh, be on the lookout for Fathom Events. In fact, you can go to FathomEvents.com to figure out if it's playing in a theater near you. Kevin is going to be touring around with this movie, so there will be kind of the roadshow screenings as well. So if you're looking for kind of a more expanded experience, you can check that out as well. Clerks 3 is the follow-up to, of course, Kevin's very first movie, Clerks, uh, which he was shot on a shoestring budget in black and white and it became a film festival hit, became an indie hit, definitely put his name on the map. He followed it up with Clerks 2, uh, which uh, I think a lot of people were a little surprised by because, you know, they didn't know what to expect from a sequel to that original film. So this kind of revisits the same characters that we all know and love. Dante, played by Brian O'Halloran, and uh, Randall, played by Jeff Anderson. Now, we've seen, because of Clerks 2, we saw how they kind of got out of the quick stop and ended up working in a movie's fast food location. Rosario Dawson played a very important character named Becky, who Dante falls in love with. Um, if you haven't seen Clerks 2, you're definitely gonna wanna remedy that before you see Clerks 3, or else you're probably gonna be lost as far as some of the story elements and whatnot. Clerks 3 finds our uh, two eminent heroes back at the quick stop and uh, basically, you know, kind of working their old sorts of jobs. Jay and Silent Bob now run what used to be the video store next door. They've turned it into uh, a marijuana store uh, and, you know, basically they're old to, up to their old antics and whatnot. We see that not a lot has changed over the years. These guys are still playing hockey on the roof. You know, they're still kind of goofing around. One of the characters that we see come back from Clerks 2 is Elias, who's played by Trevor Fairman. And uh, Elias is, you know, he's a very religious type of person, but uh, also, you know, very much, you can tell that he cares deeply about Dante and Randall, still calls Dante Mr. Dante. Uh, so again, if you haven't seen Clerks 2, you're going to want to remedy that before you see this or else that may be lost on you as well. The big storyline here is that Randall, played by Jeff Anderson, experiences what he thinks at first is kind of like a panic attack or an anxiety attack. It turns out it's a heart attack. Um, this mirrors Kevin Smith, writer-director Kevin Smith's own personal life because Kevin had a heart attack and made a lot of changes in his life and lost a lot of weight and kind of changed his outlook on a lot of things. I think it also made him realize he was more of an emotional guy than maybe he thought originally. Um, so there's a lot of things in this movie that kind of mirror Kevin's real life. And so what Randall decides while he's in the hospital and Dante is, you know, taking care of him and looking after him, Randall decides he's gonna shoot a movie and he's gonna shoot a movie about his life working at the quick stop, which if we all know the history of Kevin Smith and the original Clerks, that's kind of how the original Clerks came about. So to say that this is a meta sort of movie, uh, which they even make that joke in the film, it definitely is. You know, Kevin is basically sort of, a, kind of like Jay and Silent Bob reboot was basically a remake of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This movie is almost sort of a remake of Kevin's real life but kind of mixing in some of the more recent elements, like the heart attack and things like that. What surprised me most about Clerks 3, and I tell you what guys, I'm not gonna get into any spoilers. There's unfortunately some reviews out there, one critic in particular who I have lost all respect for because he gave away really major spoilers that had to do with a couple of the main characters, which are some of the events that you don't actually find out until almost halfway through the movie. And it's a really important sort of reveal and twist to one of the main characters that I didn't see it coming. I didn't know anything about it. And if I had read this person's review and found that out ahead of time, I would have been really upset when I saw it in the actual film. So I'm going to avoid spoilers. But one thing I will say to you about Clerks 3, it's very funny. It's very clever. It does have a lot of those same types of Kevin Smith jokes that you've come to know and love. It has a lot of cameo appearances from some of the people we've seen in previous Kevin Smith movies, people like Justin Long, people like Ben Affleck. Um, you know, there's a couple of newer faces that we're not used to seeing in Kevin Smith movies. Amy Sedaris makes a cameo appearance, um, which is very early in the film, so I don't feel like that's a major spoiler. And then since they showed this in the trailer, I guess I can tell you Ben Affleck does have a fun cameo in the movie. So you get to see some of those people that, you know, maybe you're hoping to see, 
But one of the things I also appreciated was that Kevin went to the effort to bring back some of the original characters from the original Clerks movie. Mar Marilyn Gigliotti, who is a wonderful, wonderful character in that original film, she comes back and plays kind of an extended version of that character in this film. It was wonderful to see her in the movie. Um, and of course, Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes are back as Jay and Silent Bob. You'll get a lot of fun stuff with them. But what really surprised me about this film was how emotional it was. Uh, I was going into this expecting to see kind of a typical Kevin Smith comedy, you know, and, and just laughing it up for an hour and a half. And I was really, really shocked at how much this got to me on an emotional level. And I think maybe because I've grown up watching Kevin Smith movies. I actually know Kevin. We're not what I would call friends, but we know each other. We've seen each other over the years countless times. Uh, I, I work with him a lot of times when he comes in town to do screenings and whatnot. But I don't shy away from the fact that if I don't think a Kevin Smith movie is working or if I don't like the material, I'll be honest about it. I gotta tell you guys, when I saw this movie, I love this movie. And, and I didn't just love it because I like Kevin and I like his films and I like his characters. I love this movie because this really feels like Kevin maturing. Like we're watching Kevin Smith kind of grow and mature on screen. And there are things that happen in this film that really shocked and surprised me in the best possible way, in a very mature way. Uh, and I was so happy to see that this film played out the way that it did. Uh, you're gonna shed some tears in this movie, particularly if you really like some of these characters, you're gonna shed some tears. It's, it's, it's a really heartwarming film. And there is some sad moments in it as well that I, I just didn't see coming, you know? And I was kind of, I found it very refreshing. But yet, it ends in such a beautiful way. And there's one thing I do want to tell you guys to stick around for. There is no post credit sequence, but there is a very nice sort of narrated message from Kevin Smith at the end of the film. And I think you guys, if, if you're the kind of person that gets up the second the credits roll, do yourself a favor, sit through the credits, because it will make you feel like all these years of watching Kevin Smith movies, you'll realize just how much he appreciates it. And I appreciated the fact that he made this film. I kind of wondered when I originally heard that this was one of the films coming up on his docket, I was like, Clerks 3? Like, that's the movie that you want to make next? Like, I would think there were other films you wanted to, like, sequelize or whatnot. But now that I've seen it, I totally get it. And I love this film. I think it was, I think it's easily one of Kevin Smith's best movies. If you're a fan of the original Clerks, particularly the original Clerks, I think you're really, really going to like it. And if you like Clerks too, I think you're going to like it as well. If you're a fan of those movies, this is the perfect way to kind of cap it off. If this is meant to be just a trilogy, it's a great ending to a trilogy. So I'm very happy with this. Clerk 3, Clerks 3 is now playing, like I said, in select cities. Check out Fathom Events for information on when you can see it, where you can see it. And let me know what you think. As with most Kevin Smith movies, this is a hard R-rated film. So do not go into this expecting like a family-friendly type of movie. It clocks in at just under two hours. But uh, I swear it's worth every second. You guys are going to love it. I hope you love it. If you don't like it, you know what? Film is subjective. I mean, sometimes we, uh, we like things and sometimes we hate things. So, But I definitely want to hear what you guys think. If you would do me a favor and post down below and tell me what you thought about Clerks 3. Just please, if you would, if you want to get into any kind of spoiler territory, just put spoiler alert in your comments so that you don't ruin it for other people in case they haven't seen it yet. Clerks 3 opens up in select cities starting right now. It's probably playing in one of the cities near you right now. If you guys are in the Dallas, Texas area, I want to tell you about a little thing that's going on here at the historic Texas theater. Uh, Kevin Smith will be appearing in person, I believe with Jason Mewes, on November 13th for a very special showing of Clerks 3. Check out Texas Theater, that's T-H-E, the A-T-R-E, not theater the other way spelled, texastheater.com for more information about that. Look for it on November 13th. That's it, guys. I thank you so much for tuning in on this uh, special review. And if you guys are new to BigFanboy.com, we are the longest-running movie news and review website in the Dallas area. We are going into our 18th year this December, and we want to thank everybody for supporting us as well. And if this is your first time checking out one of our reviews, we appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Please share it with your friends and let us know what you think about Clerks 3. Everybody take care. We'll see you at BigFanboy.com.